Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually build a ring season two, chapter three, and also the superstars have actually gotten revealed. But also, there's a brand new Star Wars update coming very soon inside of Fortnite, guys. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this video, and you cannot miss out, so watch all the way to the end. This one is crazy. Every single video, I add three lucky subscribers, and then they actually have a chance of being gifted by me. So if you want to be added, then all you simply need to do is drop a like on this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and then comment down below the Epic Gamer Tags, and I'll be adding you guys like I'm about to do right here. Here is the first person. This is the second person. And here is the third and final person, guys. A lot of you guys spell your Epic Gamer Tag incorrect, so make sure you spell it correct so I can actually add you. Remember, Remember, if you are picking anything up from this brand new item shop or even still the season two battle pass It would mean a lot if could I choose my create code, which is simply just radar four letters It is literally my YouTube name It's one of the easiest create codes ever type it in click accept and then you'll be spotting me And if you use my code and you want to get heart on one of your comments Then comment down below right now saying I use your code and I'll be hearting pretty much all of your comments guys As you can see I have proof of this. I've been hearting all of your comments So make sure you use my code. It will just mean a lot and Anyway, sit back, relax, and let's get into actually how you can build within Season 2, Chapter 3. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually build within Fortnite Season 2, Chapter 3. Obviously, all of you guys should know, you actually cannot currently build at the moment. But there is a way that you can actually build within Fortnite Season 2. Guys, make sure you're watching all the way to the end because you cannot miss out. Now, firstly, guys, from the time I'm actually recording this video, tomorrow, April 2nd, to Monday, April 4th, both the MK7 Assault Rifle and the Combat Assault Rifle will actually be unvaulted and added into most of the normal game modes. And Fortnite have actually decided to do this because after the 4th of April, they will actually be added to the vote where we can vote between these two weapons. And obviously, as we've used these two weapons for two days straight before that, it will give players a better idea of what weapon they actually want to put their gold into to then get unvaulted. Personally, I prefer the MK7. It's just perfect with having pretty much no recoil. The combat AR is good, but it probably has one of the highest recoils from all of the Fortnite weapons. Weapons. Now guys, yesterday, which was the 31st of March, the superstars were actually supposed to release. And I was actually waiting for them to come out, but they actually weren't added to the files with the release of Chapter 3 Season 2. So it was highly unlikely that they would release yesterday. And if you check right now, they're actually not there. And this is because they will actually release after the next Fortnite update, which will most likely be next Tuesday. And next Tuesday is actually the 5th of April. And as the superstars in the past have actually released on Thursdays, they will most likely come out next Thursday. Thursday, which is the 7th of April. Within the next Fortnite update, which is the 20.10 Fortnite update, we will actually get to see what these superstars look like. And then for the actual date that they will come out, will actually be the 7th of April, which I'm definitely very hyped for. And that is actually in six days time. Now, as today is obviously the 1st of April, it's actually April Fool's Day, but I promise this video isn't actually an April Fool's. But if you are actually subscribed to the Fortnite crew and you log into your account right now, you will have actually seen that you would have got the brand new crew pack skin, which is the same Yara skin with obviously all of her rewards as well and I'm not gonna lie she looks very similar to a previous crew pack skin sometimes they do look very similar to other crew pack skins which I guess is okay it would be nice to get fully unique skins every month though but yes guys I got mine and obviously when your subscription date is when you obviously subscribe to the crew pack you will then get your 1000 V bucks and also the season 2 chapter 3 battle pass now guys very recently an absolute ton of the Fortnite X Marvel Zero War comic covers were revealed and as you can see we are actually have a ton of new Marvel characters on these comics. I'm not going to go over all of these because, as I said, there is a lot. But we have the Falcon, Joe Fixit, which is actually the Grey Hulk in the suit, as you guys can see. And there is also a Spider Girl or Spider Woman skin. I'm not too sure what her actual name is. But yes, guys, there is a load of brand new characters on these comics. And these will actually be brand new collabs. And they'll most likely get released as skins within this season. Maybe going into next season as well, as these comics do release within June of this year. Honestly, I'm so hyped for these, as obviously Fortnite did this last year with DC with the Fortnite X Batman Zero Point comics which were honestly insane with all of those Batman rewards. But yes, just remember guys that these will start rolling out in June of this year. Now guys, revealed by Sheena BR on Twitter. He says that from Arena Division 5 to Division 10, there will be a new system implemented where you'll actually get a free cosmetic or a free reward for every new division you rank up to from 5 to 10. Now I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this but this honestly gets me so hyped because we've never Never really got arena rewards before other than obviously the FNCS pickaxe but that's still not arena and I think this is an amazing idea for people that do play arena and it actually gives players
play as an incentive to grind to Division 10 to obviously get these free rewards. And he also says that these rewards might actually be the tactical BR rewards, which were revealed, which actually have a load of really cool cosmetics, like a wrap and also a glider. Those two are probably the best rewards. So I'm very hyped for this, and we don't actually know yet when this will officially be releasing. We expect an arena update very soon. The last time lightsabers were actually in Fortnite was actually May of 2020, and they released them in the game for the 4th of May, obviously the famous saying of May the 4th be with you. And lightsabers are actually set to release this season, as they were added back into the files. I'm pretty sure they've been in the files since Chapter 3 Season 1, so they've definitely been adjusting these lightsabers for quite a while. But the day they will most likely return into Fortnite in all the normal game modes will most likely be the 4th of May, as, as I've already said, that's the famous May the 4th be with you day. And with lightsabers actually returning within May of this year, which will be within this season, we finally might see a lightsaber pickaxe, which I'm very surprised we haven't seen that yet. Honestly, if we see this lightsaber pickaxe, that will be one of the best pickaxes in the game, obviously lighting up and also all of the different color variants. Both jetpacks and the LMG was actually seen within the new Zero Build trailer, which was released a few days ago. You could actually see both of these within that trailer. And actually the jetpacks are the new boost jump packs, which are slightly different to the normal jetpacks. And you will actually be able to get these within containers. And as you can see, they actually have hooks on them. So it's definitely a different way of getting jetpacks than we've ever seen before. And also the LMG was updated quite a while ago with getting nerfed and also buffed a bit. So expect them to release very soon as well, maybe within the next Fortnite update. But there's also a brand new mythic weapon or mythic item that we will also be seeing this season. And it's actually a new Marvel mythic as the Wolverine NPC will actually return this season with a new revamped claws mythic. And you can actually see gameplay of this on screen right here. I'm very happy to see this brand new claws mythic back into Fortnite as obviously it's based off of the old one from chapter two season four, but it's gonna be a little bit different and a revamped version. Now for a brand new shotgun that will be releasing within this season. And it's actually going to be a brand new one shot shotgun coming into the game. It's actually called the single barrel break action shotgun. And this will basically take over from the pumps place within Fortnite. As obviously the pump's been a one shot shotgun for the longest time now. But within chapter three, the pump actually hasn't been in the game. So this brand new single barrel break action shotgun will be a brand new pump basically. And it will one shot opponents. I'm honestly very hyped to see this because I don't really know anybody that didn't like the pump shotguns, especially the legendary ones. And as you've seen in the background, Fortnite did actually give us a clip of how this will work and how it will look like when you eliminate someone with it. And it definitely does look insane. Now guys, on to how you can actually build within chapter three, season two. There is actually a ton of different ways you can actually build within this season. But let me just tell you right now, within the core game modes, which is solo, duos, trios, and squads, obviously with them actually being named zero build, you cannot actually build within those game modes, but you can actually still build within team rumble creative and also battle lab which i feel like a lot of people have actually looked over because obviously most people play in these normal core game modes but for the date the building will actually return in these game modes i am actually not sure when this date will be as fortnite hasn't actually publicly told us when the date the building will come back will actually be and i'm pretty sure it's not been leaked but i'm guessing there will be some sort of date because i don't think that fortnite would fully remove building for all the future fortnite seasons but what i think fortnite has actually done is look to all of the streamers that have obviously come back to Fortnite and started playing Fortnite again after years of not playing. They've wanted to keep building out of the game and it honestly gives those players that haven't played for years a better chance of winning and actually enjoying the game again as they might not be the best at building and editing. But just remember guys, you can still build within Team Rumble, Battle Lab, Creative and probably a lot more different game modes. But those are the game modes that I've actually played and I have actually been able to build with it. So yes guys, this video was insane showing you actually how to build within this season and also a ton of different updates that will be happening brand new rewards and a load more guys if you did actually enjoy this video make sure you go down there and i'll drop a like on this video make sure you're actually subscribed to my channel remember when we get to 100,000 subscribers i'll be doing a face reveal so make sure you're all subscribing and if you are picking anything up from the brand new item shop or even still the season two battle pass it would mean a lot if you could actually use my creator code which is simply just radar four letters it is literally my youtube name one of the easiest creator codes ever and thank you to everyone that's actually you're already using it, it will just mean a lot. And yes, I will see you later.